Now, I'm really interested to hear about your experience uh, with the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast uh, in 2018. Uh, you're part of the, the the health team there. Obviously, that's sort of an out of hospital uh, health service. Um, so, what was that whole experience like? Amazing. I can't. I can't even. It just brings a big smile to my face every time I talk about. It. Amazing. Like we work so hard. We work amazingly hard, but it was so rewarding and so. Such a privilege to be part of that experience. So uh, part of my role, I was the medical manager for workforce resourcing and materials resourcing. Okay. So for medical services. Yeah. So basically my role was to um, plan and implement the workforce for medical services and we delivered medical services to spectators as well as athletes. Okay. So. So it was the first time at the Commonwealth Games that the project management team or the um, organising committee had delivered spectator medical services. So we were virtually starting from scratch. The first time in a Commonwealth Games? Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So the, it hadn't been done before and we had nothing to sort of guide us. Mm. So it was very interesting times and we we kind of rewrote the book and gave a legacy for future Commonwealth Games, I guess, which is pretty wow. exciting. And we did have a few emergencies. We had some emergencies because it was so hot in mm -hmm. April. This time, it would have been yeah. around this time three years ago now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Yeah, very hot on the Gold Coast yes. still. Mm. Yes, it was very hot. And we had a few. I remember I was at the swimming one day. I think I was helping them out or something. And there was a lot of people leaving the morning session for the swimming and the um, the grandstands were in the sun, like full sun. Yeah. And the people were leaving from the morning session and there were people collapsing everywhere. So we had um, what we would call emergency response teams on the ground and radios and, yeah, it was – some of it was quite serious, and we did we did oh. transport a few to hospital, but um, okay. we had the teams there to safely yeah. deliver that care. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, it sounds like a first aid tent on steroids. <laughs> yeah, that's absolute. That was it. The first aid tents were on steroids, and yeah, yeah the service that we delivered was absolutely um, pre-hospital best. And in Queensland ambulance service were phenomenal. Mm. They were with us all the way. So yeah, it's good. Amazing. Was that one of the, uh, I wouldn't say the highlight, but what, is that one of the more memorable events that day or is there one that, another one that comes to mind that you can oh, wow. divulge at all <laughs> um, where you felt like, wow, this is, you know, yeah. this is something else? Look, I um, pretty much every event, because I, I was lucky enough that I could go to pretty, I could go to any event and mm. it, Every event that you went to, it was you just had to pinch yourself. I couldn't believe that I was actually there. Mm. It was amazing. Probably from one of the most memorable, probably not for the right reasons, is the marathon. The marathon to me uh, was most memorable because it was a time when we as healthcare providers, everyone in my team, had to think about our practice. We reflected on our practice because, as you know, the Scottish runner um, – collapsed probably I think it was about three kilometres from the finish line mm -hmm. and he was in the lead and then one of my respondents was um, responded to him and there was huge controversy about um, the medical response. Massive controversy and there was protests and whatnot and my team and yeah. I because yeah it, that was my team on that day so I, I um was given the responsibility of the marathon because it was the last day of competition, mm. massive team on the ground. We had, you know, volunteers every two kilometres around the course, huge team. And I guess my team and I really had a, a really big reflection and debrief at the end of that day and um, we spoke about what happened, what, what we could have done better and really when we debriefed, we really couldn't have done anything different. We had medical staff on board and they supported what what happened. And to me, that was probably the essence of and the culmination of building that team and being part of that team. And that was really memorable in the end. <laughs>